Hey guys, Banana Luck here and welcome back to another Watch Out Realms video. So today is going to be a bit of an interesting video. You can see a meat fight and the reason being that I had to redo my runs to showcase my well clearing uh, faction trial for stage 12 for Nightmare, uh, the Nightmare faction. I had to get the runs perfect because I had to get Valeria to prop her Crystal Valness uh, ability uh, from the get-go and also for Salazar to proc his bleed. So I finally got it done and I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing it without arrogance. So I'm actually swapping in Gluttony instead. And we just take a look at Gluttony. So he basically kills an enemy uh, in range with his teeth and this is the guy that we're trying to kill. This, this guy with a walking shield, he does a lot of damage. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. And I'll run through how the thing is, how the run is in detail later on. See if Salazar procs bleed again. Okay, he does. You can see the increased damage. And let's wait for Valeria. You can see that everything is extremely precise down to the dot. And we do have our Chris power dominance on. In case there's any haters. Okay, just nice. And then we have to prop Salazar's out before I forget. Let's half hell gone and we're to prop Gluttony next so that he can regenerate enough reach to get to this guy later on. And just gonna wait a bit for this guy to get closer. And then we're gonna prop Valeria's up. Okay, looking good so far. Okay, and despawn her. He's gonna eat this guy up. That's all good. And then we just have to place down rough next. So let's see. I think we can place no we need Salazar down here later on, I think. So Rich is gonna be just nice as you can see. It's a bit lacking to be honest, but yeah, we'll make it just nice. And also I had to swap out uh, Idril's Gaze for Hatsut, if not she wasn't dealing enough damage. I'm gonna prop Salazar's out in a moment here. Okay, despawn him. And do that. Just put Volca down for some extra life steal. Then we should be good here. Um, place down Valeria just for quick measure. Without the Idris gaze, I was like dealing one. 1000 damage to this guy per pop, so that, that wasn't good enough, and this just makes it a lot better. Okay, almost have this guy up. Um, not sure if we actually need gluttony here. I think we need a gluttony here instead. Let's see if that works. We don't despawn the wrong guy. That's so annoying. Okay. And I just need Salazar to be up in a moment. He's gonna take care of this guy. Okay. I'm gonna pop Toro down in a moment as well. Toro's gonna help with this. Because later on there'll be two of these big guys that spawn. Salazar's out here. Okay, nice. So we have everything sorted for now. Just need to wait for these guys to spawn. And Gluttony is going to eat one of them. So when they are paired up, they are super strong. So having one of them gone really helps a lot. Let's see if this is enough. For the 
I hope it is. We may have to pop down. No, that's not enough damage. Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe I should have kept us out for these two guys instead. Let's redo that run. Um, yeah, unfortunate, but we can get it done in a second time. Having Gluttony down was the right move for sure. It's just, uh, I don't think the placing Torridor down that early was a good choice. It was a bit premature. This should clear just fine, so let me speed it up for a second there. And then we just need to pop down Gluttony in a bit. Oops, forgot to pop Salazar's out as well. Ah, okay, I think that's messed up now. Uh, yeah, I need to pop this out so that it gets him down to half health immediately. But that went to hit the other guy as well, so... Yeah, that's a misplay. Okay, let's do this and just ignore that and watch Salazar to pop this up. Okay, let's spare. Latani here. Okay, Been good so far. Okay, I'll sit down now. Should be good here. Okay. Just need this guy to come in and gonna one hit that guy. Tell this. Up down rock, abomination, and we're good. Sellers us out. Okay. Been good so far. Okay. Now we just need to maybe pop demons down here. Are we good? Let's gonna make sure that Ross survives. Okay. Spawn Ross. Okay, then I just need to pop down Salazar here. Can speed this up a bit. Good. Yep. Okay. Ah, shucks. We forgot to place down Gluttony. That might be a problem. Let's see. Yeah, let's see if this is still gonna work. Because we forgot to place him down in time, and now we might just not have enough units. Yep, I think we need to do that instead. Gluttony might come in clutch. Let's see. Okay, nice. That was super clutch. And let's despawn these guys. We don't need them anymore. We need Wrath here instead. And let's hope Abomination's um, ultimate comes out in time. I hope this is enough. Enough sustain. Um, I 
Okay, it's gonna be super close, but looks like we're fine. Nice. And uh, I'm just gonna place Kineza down, just so that we meet the eight fighter criteria. That's all. Like it's nothing to do with you know having to um get the nightmare bonus or whatnot. It's just purely for that. And I'm gonna see if we can pop one of these guys before we pop Salazar's out. Okay. Uh, I think Hatsuit's gonna go over next. Let's hope that's enough damage. Oh, clutch. Okay, nice. <laughs> Plunging slash came in. And yeah, we clicked that. That's why I placed down Valerie actually. Just in case the plunging slash what. So obviously this is not my fastest clearance. I've updated that and you can see stats here. Salazar, Valeria, those two at the top, and Hatsuit as well. I think Ruff did more of the tanking work and I had Abomination down. It didn't do much damage, but it was just a backup in case Ruff died. And surprisingly my Ruff managed to actually survive through that whole situation where it looked like things were looking quite bad. So yeah, and you can see that he did a lot of self-sustain on his own. And yeah, I think Gluttony as well, coming in clutch with that last uh, last minute, you know, bite. So in case you guys didn't know, so how that worked, first of all, is... Okay, let's take a look at our heroes. So Hatsut had the Idris Gaze on her, and what this does is that whenever she does crit damage, there's a 25% chance that she ignores the target's defense. So that's very important, especially when it comes to uh, that mode where you know the creatures have insane amount of defense so i drew's gaze really helped a lot if not with the sharpshooter crest i was only dealing at a 1000 damage per pop and with hot suit on i drew's gaze it went up to 7000 which allowed her to clear this entirely on her own she didn't need uh anyone else in my prior nightmare runs i actually had to use um who was that um Abomination instead to clear out that mob in the middle that Hatsu was taking care of. And Valeria's Crystal of Vowness definitely came in clutch. You can see that in my run uh, when there was the first mob, if the Crystal of Vowness did not pop, or rather it popped any later, Valeria would have died for sure. And then I had the Scallop Hunt on, uh, on Salazar obviously to do more damage. And what else do we have? Um, Gluttony. So this guy is A5 for me, but uh, I haven't built him up at all until I realized that this guy has this skill. So I thought maybe it might work on one of the Nightmare Faction you know, uh, units and it actually did on those guys with the large shields which are very troublesome to deal with because if you take a look, you can see the... Yep, so none of destruction is the huge guys, the one that stand in the middle, so insanely high defense. And then the fallen solar guardian, insanely high defense as well, and they have the spike shield on top of them. So when attacked by a ground hero, fallen solar guardian deals damage equal to 2% of the attacker's max HP. So this just makes sure makes sure that you die eventually. So that's why having Gluttony just eat up this guy immediately that came in clutch on so many occasions. And then there's this guy, the Skeleton Fighters. When two or more monsters on, are on the same tile, their attack and attack speed greatly increases. And this is not an understatement. They really start hitting like a truck. So that's why I had to use Salazar to pop one of these guys. Uh, and fortunately, Gluttony came in clutch to pop one of the fallen solar guardians in the second wave at the bottom. So those are the nuances that actually helped me to clear that uh, action trial stage. And without further ado, let's just quickly look at gear so you guys can see what we're looking at. So this is what we have, Calamity, Sobal Arcana, and there's a Scarlet Hunt artifact. So these are the stats in totality. And then there's Heart's Food. Uh, is it Curse? Yeah, a Curse gear set, Warlock set, and this is what we come to in the end. 
and then there's Valeria and Funeral and Wobin and on the Crystal Valner set artifact and this is what we get in the total so yeah most of these guys have 100% crit rate even Abomination Wobin and Fracture set we do need him to be tanky a bit in case the top wave breaks out if your wrath isn't strong Corridor is just an invigoration set, you don't really need him to do anything, you're just using him for his buff to be honest, which is the Lord bonus where you know there's a chance where every basic attack, the 30% chance of landing an extra hit. And then Volca, nothing much really, I think her A1, which decreases respawn time, did help for me to get Valeria and Salazar out in time. I did put some gear on her just to make sure that she can handle herself a bit slightly just in case mobs hit her. And then there's Wrath, full fracture and calamity set. This is the total gear and I think I have the flawless blade on him. Deimos, ancestral teaching, annihilating might and the night caravaner and these are the total stats. And then who else do we have? No one else except Gluttony. So I think if you have his ultimate maxed out, it'll be even easier because the skill cost will reduce significantly. But yeah, I think that's it. That's it pretty much for the run, how I did it, what the nuances, or the gears that are involved, and I hope this is helpful for everyone who's trying to clear it uh, this weekend. So that's it for the video guys. If you found it helpful, feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel, and you know, any questions just pop them down in the comment section below see you in the next next video goodbye